a man came up to me and he handed me his Purple Heart. Now I said to him, is that like uh, the real one or is that a copy? Mr. Trump and his comments about the Purple Heart obviously show his ignorance to what the Purple Heart is and what it represents. I always wanted to get the Purple Heart. This was much easier. Not everybody that receives Purple Hearts gets to come home with an injury. Some of them are awarded posthumously and those Purple Hearts sit with their families and their loved ones and they look upon it every day and remember the sacrifice, true, real sacrifice. That's what the Purple Heart stands for and Donald Trump can't even conceive of that sacrifice. Donald Trump compared his sacrifices to the sacrifices of two parents who lost their son in war. How would you answer that, Father? What sacrifice have you made for your country? I think I've made a lot of sacrifices, built great structures. I've had tremendous success. I think those are sacrifices. Oh, sure. I think they're sacrifices. And I think Donald Trump is having a hard time making a distinction between sacrifice and opportunity. Sacrifice means giving something up for the benefit of someone else. What did you give up? For us, it means putting your life on the line to defend the freedoms here in America. I think it's gross to not honor veterans. They are giving their lives for the country. and They are doing an honorable thing. There's no evidence that he has a clue. That's one of his favorite expressions. So-and-so doesn't have a clue. Well, he doesn't have a clue uh, what service to his nation uh, means. No. He has no idea what service the American military is about. He has no idea what's, what real sacrifice is all about. Otherwise, he wouldn't attack those who have served and been wounded and lost loved ones. John McCain, a war hero, five and a half years as a POW, and you call him a dummy. Is that appropriate in running for president? Okay. He's not a, a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war five hero. Five and a half years. He's a, a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you He's agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured. Apart from the outrage, the insult, the prisoners of war, he insulted all of our military. My war is 70 years. Ago and yesterday, he's everything I would not want to be or emulate and I would hope we would not adulate a man like him and put him into the most precious office in this country. His comments showed his inability to know anything about the military or to want to know anything about the military. He is naive to what the military does around the world and the sacrifices that military families make. But not only that, they show his incompetence to be a commander in chief and the leader of the United States of America.